With millions of visitors every year, Mallorca is a top destination and with this amount of people you will always find the tourist traps designed to trick you out of a truly authentic experience. We have provided you some tips of what not to do when you are visiting this beautiful island to ensure you get the most out of your holiday. 1. Don't just do shopping in Palma. Palma may be the shopping metropolis on the island, but you will for sure miss out on some really good bargains and local gems if you do not extend shopping further than the capital. The island offers other good shopping opportunities such as the Outlet Village Festival Park located outside of Marazzi or the shopping streets in and around Inca where you can buy some local made leather products or explore what else this city has to offer. In the old town you will find a wide range of well-known clothing brands as well as contemporary designer boutiques and jewelers alongside young Mallorcan fashion designers selling their products. 2. Don't just eat tapas. Mallorca equals good tapas, but this island is home to other typical Mallorcan dishes. Why not try out what you cannot get at home? Mallorcans are very proud of their local cuisine and they will happily serve you some local specialties such as pie and bioli, the major canned bread with garlic, tomato, olive oil often served with cured ham or cheese. Why not try the Frito Mallorcan, a combination of meat, intestine, liver, potato, tomato, onion and peppers fried with olive oil and garlic. Frito may not sound very appealing when described, but it is absolutely delicious. Another dish which should not be missed is arrows brut, which is literally translated as dirty rice. There are different varieties, but the dish is essentially a combination of rice, different meats, mushrooms and a variety of vegetables brewed together. A must try. For the brave ones, Caragols is a must to try out, the Mallorcan version of escargots. Now you can tick on your to-do list that you have tried to eat snails. Don't forget the authentic souvenirs. Why not spend your money on a souvenir which will last a lifetime rather than just visiting the souvenir shops lined up along the resorts? The island has plenty of souvenirs which will bring you back some authentic products created on the island. Visit a ceramic workshop in and around the area of Santa Maria to get some authentic pottery or bring home some real leather products produced in Inca. Bring home some local made olive oils or why not go to SES Salines and see for yourself how the sea salt is made and get some flavored ones to take home. 4. Don't just visit Mallorca in the summer. Millions of people visit Mallorca every year and most of them come in the summer months. The beaches are busy and most attractions become crowded, traffic is heavy and you may see yourself queuing to get the best table in the outdoor dining area. Why not avoid all this and come before or after the summer? This island has a good all year round climate and there is much to do and explore, particularly in autumn and winter when the crowds have gone and the temperature is more suitable for outdoor activities. This island has some of best hiking in the winter months or early spring when the weather is cooler, but clear sunny days is almost a norm. Visit in the spring and see the almond trees bloom and the island covered in pink. If you prefer beach life, why not wait until after August, when the high season has ended and you know that you can arrive after breakfast and still be sure you can get a sunbed in your favorite beach. 5. Don't ignore the small shops. You will find many of the bigger brands in the main street in Palma but these shops you will find in any big city, so why not look for things you cannot find at home. Explore the small side streets and find some of the hidden gems. There are many great shops in Palma and in other villages where you will find independent boutiques selling unique pieces which will make you stand out from the crowd. 6. Don't take a horse carriage ride. There is often a battle over potentially banning horse carriages in Palma so you will never know how long they will be around. When it comes to these beautiful animals there is nothing right about forcing horses to walk around and share the streets with traffic, pedestrians, bikers and all the noise a city is creating. Horses should not carry tourists around in a city. There are many great ways to explore the city of Palma so why not hire a bike? 
take the sightseeing bus, get on a Segway or simply use your own feet and explore the city at your own pace. 7. Don't limit yourself to Palma. If you are here for weekend only you may want to spend the time in and around Palma to get the most of your holiday, but if you are on the island longer than so you have to visit more than just the capital. Mallorca is an island of rich and beautiful regions that demand to be explored. Each region has its own characteristics and you will find yourself learning about local culture as you visit each area. Take a drive up the mountain range and explore the picturesque villages in the Tramontana, or visit the southeast and the amazing bays with crystal clear water. Take a hike in the northeast and get close to Mallorca's rich nature and wildlife. 8. Don't just stay in a hotel. If you want to bring home some unique memories you should not spend all of your holiday in a hotel. Why not spend a night or two on a hilltop sanctuary? Most of the monks have dispersed these days but the monasteries remain, offering accommodation in the old monastic cells. Not far from Luck Major, you can find the monastery of Nuestra Señora de Cura, located at 540 meters, or 30 minutes further east, you come to the town of Felonix. The Sanctuary de Sant Salvador sits nearly as high up, at 510 meters.